Hey everyone! Happy Sunday! My name is Lexi. I'm Erica. And we are praying that you are all doing well during this crazy time. We miss you and we are looking forward to the day when we can all be together at church again. So today we're going to be talking about the account of creation. Let's begin by talking about some of our favorite parts of creation. Erica, what's your favorite part? My favorite thing is the beach. I love the ocean and the sand and making sand castles and going swimming. The beach is a phenomenal part of creation. I think one of my favorite parts is the sun. I love sunrises and sunsets, and even on a nice summer day, just to go outside and soak up the vitamin D, simply one of my favorite parts of creation. Go ahead and pause the video, take a few moments to think about some of your favorite parts of creation. There are so many amazing things in God's creation, and today we're gonna study the account of creation and how God the Father is the maker of heaven and earth. If that phrase sounds a little familiar to you, it's because we say it in the Apostles' Creed. And a creed is a statement of belief, and the Apostles' Creed is our statement of belief as Christians, saying what we believe and confess and what we teach about the triune God, or the Trinity, three in one. Exactly, this Sunday is actually Trinity Sunday. So the Apostles' Creed is split into three parts. The first part talks about God, our maker. It has three parts because like Erica said, there are three parts of the Trinity. So today we're gonna to talk about that first person, the Father. The creed begins, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. You may recognize those words. We say them about every other Sunday in church. So why don't you try and say it with us? I, I believe, believe in God, God the Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven, heaven and earth. Today, we're going to discuss a little bit about what that means. What does it mean that God is our maker? So let's open with prayer. I'm going to ask you to fold your hands and bow your heads for me. So dear God, our Father Almighty, open our ears to listen and allow our minds to focus on you. Lead us to discover more about you and your love for us as we explore why you are called the maker of heaven and earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So the account of creation is written in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, and it's actually our first lesson for today. So maybe you can take some time with your parents after this video is over to talk about that all together. Today, we're gonna to be using some pictures to help us talk about the six days of creation. So you can find those pictures and you can color them on your own in this email. Just ask your parents and they'll be able to help you out. So day one. And we're sorry, this is going to show up backwards, but we promise it's day one. Um, the Bible tells us, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You see, in the beginning, there was nothing. Try and close your eyes. Just imagine. What do you see? Nothing, nothing right? Yes, nothing. There was nothing. Only God existed. But then God said, let there be light. Go ahead and open your eyes. Suddenly, by the power of God's word, there was light. So, there was morning and there was evening, the first day. On the second day, God said, let there be a sky above and waters below. So God separated the water and there was a sky above and water below, just like he said. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the second day. On the third day, God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. Through these words, God created land and seas. He also said, let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so, God filled the land with trees and bushes and flowers and all the plants that we love and know. <laughs> and there was evening and there was morning, the third day. On the fourth day, God said, let there be light in the sky to separate the day from night. So God created two great lights, the sun and the moon, and he set them up in the sky along with the stars that he made. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the fourth day. Now on the fifth day, God said, let the water teem with living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. And it was so. The sky was full of birds and the sea was full of creatures. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. Now on the sixth day, God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their own kinds, wild animals, creatures that crawl, and livestock. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, 
and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over all the land creatures. Then God took some dust from the ground and formed it into a man, and then he breathed the breath of life into him, and he was alive. And God took a rib from the man and formed woman. God stepped back and saw all that he had made, and he said that it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. On the seventh day, we don't have a picture because God rested. He didn't do any creating. He didn't rest because he needed to or because he was tired, but because he had created all things. And like we said several times, it was very good. So let's use those pictures we made to review what happened on each day. Sounds like a good plan. Erica, what did God create on day one? Do you guys remember? What did God create on the first day? On day one, God said, let there be light. And he made light, just like when we closed our eyes and then opened them again. Exactly, God made light on the first day. How about the second day? The second Anyone day. Remember? Hmm, do you guys remember? Oh, I remember. God created sky and sea. Good job, Lexi. Awesome. Oh, that's good. Erica, do you remember what God created on the third day? Day three, he made plants. Exactly. Yeah. He made land and he filled it with plants. All right, how about day four? Day four. Uh, that's a hard one. It's your favorite part of creation. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite part. He made the sun and the moon and the stars and he filled it all, it's filled the heavenly bodies. Awesome. How about day five? Do you guys remember? Day five, God made fish and birds. Exactly. Just like this picture so shows, God made birds and fish. Yay. All right. How about day six? Day six. It's a big one. This is an important one. I remember that. The last day of creation. What's left? Oh, oh that's right. Yet. God hasn't made us yet. God made humans on the sixth day, and he also made animals on the land. Awesome job. How about the seventh day? What did God make on the seventh day? It's actually a trick question. God didn't make anything on the seventh day. He rested. Again, not because he needed to, but because he had already created all things. He blessed that seventh day. Awesome. So, our Bible words for today are from Genesis 1-1. They say, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God made all things just by the power of his word. So let's work on memorizing those words together. So I'll say the first part and then repeat after me. In the beginning. In the beginning. Awesome, let's try it one more time. In the beginning. In the beginning. Awesome, now let's move on to the next part. This one's a little bit longer, so I'm gonna say it twice before I'll have you repeat after me, okay? It says, God created the heavens and the earth. I'll say it one more time. God created the heavens and the earth. Eric, will you try saying that with me? God, God created, created the, the heavens, heavens and the earth. earth. Let's try it one more time. God, God created, created the, the heavens, heavens and the earth. earth. Okay, time to put it all together. I'll say it twice and then I'll have you say it with me. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I'm gonna say it a second time. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. All right, everyone, let's try it together. In, In the, the beginning, beginning God, God created the heavens and the earth. earth. All right, one more time, last time. In, In the, the beginning, beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Good work. All right, so I want to wrap it up with prayer. You can fold your hands and bow your heads for me. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you today for some marvelous things that you have made and all the blessings you bring to us through your creation. Especially, Lord, we thank you for recreating us through your son, Jesus. And God, keep us all safe and healthy during this weird time until we can see each other again. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for spending a portion of your Sunday with us. We are so happy you did, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.